people when they have an event, what they do is they keep recalling the event because the, the emotions of stress hormones, the survival emotions, are saying pay attention to what happened because you want to be prepared if it happens again. Turns out most people spend 70% of their life living in survival and living in stress. So they're, they're always anticipating the worst case scenario based on a past experience. And they're literally, out of the infinite potentials in the quantum field, they're selecting the worst possible outcome and they're beginning to emotionally embrace it with fear. And they're conditioning their body into a state of fear. Do that enough times, the body has a panic attack without you. you. You can't even predict it because it's programmed subconsciously. So then you say to the person, why are you this way? And they'll say, I am this way because of this event that happened to me 15 or 20 years ago. And what that means from a biological standpoint is that they haven't been able to change since that event. So then the emotions from the experience tend to give the body and the brain a rush of energy. So people become addicted to the rush of those emotions and they use the problems and conditions in their life to reaffirm their limitation so at least they can feel something. So now when it comes time to change, you say to the person, why are you this way? Well, every time they recall the event, they're producing the same chemistry in their brain and body as if the event is occurring. Firing and wiring the same circuits and sending the same emotional signature to the body. Well, what's the relevance behind that? Well, your body is the unconscious mind. It doesn't know the difference between the experience that's creating the emotion and the emotion that you're creating by thought alone. So the body's believing it's living in the same past experience 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And so then when those emotions influence certain thoughts, and they do, and then those thoughts create the same emotions, and those same emotions influence the same thoughts, now the entire person's uh, state of being is in the past. So then the hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before, period. And the moment you decide to make a different choice, get ready because it's going to feel uncomfortable. The bigger thing is that we, we keep firing and wiring those circuits, they become more hardwired. So there, you have a thought and then the program runs. But it's the emotion that follows the thought. If you have a, if you have a fearful thought, you're gonna feel anxiety. The moment you feel anxiety, your brain's checking in with your body and saying, yeah, you're pretty anxious. So then you start thinking more corresponding thoughts equal to how you feel. Well, the redundancy of that cycle conditions the body to become the mind. So now, when it comes time to change, a person steps into that river of change and they make a different choice and all of a sudden, they don't, they, they, they don't feel the same way. So the body says, well, you've been doing this for 35 years. Uh, well, you're, you're gonna just stop feel, suffering and stop feeling guilty and stop feeling shameful and you're not gonna complain or blame or make excuses or feel sorry for yourself. Well, <laughs> the body's in the unknown. So the body says, I wanna return back to familiar ter territory. So the body starts influencing the mind and it says, start tomorrow too much like your mother, you'll never change, this isn't gonna work for you, this doesn't feel right. Uh, and so if you respond to that thought as if it's true, that same thought will lead to the same choice, which will lead to the same behavior, which will create the same experience, which will produce the same emotion. Well, those are two different things. Your body is your unconscious mind. In a sense, if you're sitting down and you start thinking about uh, some future worst case scenario that you're conjuring up in your mind and you begin to feel the emotion of that event your body doesn't know the difference between the event that's taking place in your world outer world and what you're creating by emotion or thought alone so most people then they're they're constantly reaffirming their emotional states so when it comes time to give up that emotion they can say I really want to do it but really the body is stronger than the mind because it's been conditioned that way. So the servant now has become the master and the person all of a sudden, once they step into that unknown, they'd rather feel guilt and suffering because at least they can predict it. Being in the unknown is a scary place for most people because the unknown is uncertain. And when people say to me, well, I can't predict my future. I'm in the unknown and I always say the best way to predict your future is to create it not from the known, but from the unknown. What thoughts do you want to fire and wire in your brain? 
What behaviors do you want to demonstrate in one day? The act of rehearsing them mentally, closing your eyes, and rehearsing the actions. 